Too hard. Rebounded by McNamee of the Pirates. Here comes Warren with across the timeline. 4.43 to go. Warren. Gets the screen. Comes up against Pollard. Looking to go. Can't break free. Good defense by the Lady Patriots. Out to DeBoard. DeBoard. Gets a screen from Viperman out to Warren near side. And she's asking Viperman to step away. Go one-on-one against Pollard. Pollard. Good defense. This is a good matchup between Warren and Pollard. And she nearly caught Warren not paying attention. Good defense by Faith. And Mapes will inbound it for the Pirates. Trying to get it in. Still looking to get it in. Still looking. Kicks it out to Warren. Warren goes in against Gibson, lays it up. Should have been a foul called, no foul called. And Pollard comes away with it, nearly stolen away by the Pirates out to Gibson. Gibson across the timeline. She loses it. It is stolen by the board of the Pirates. She goes down, lays it up, no good. Mapes with a rebound, puts it up, no good. McNamee tried to get it. Still loose. Viperman comes away with it, kicks it out to Warren. Warren. Goes up against Gayart, far side. Viperman looks the screen. She goes down, and she lays it up. No good. We're going to foul on Morgan Combs of the Patriots. Has Warner go the line, and she is one of two from the free throw line tonight. Free throw on the way up and good. Warren, a good-looking athlete. She's got eight. Warren gets it for a second free throw. He lets it fly, and no good. She misses it, and that's going to be a foul on Viperman. Gayhart brings it across the timeline. Patriots fell by three, 14 to 17. 3.30 to go over to Bentley. Bentley into Combs. Combs spins, can't get past McNamee. Kicks it out to Hall. Hall guarded by Viper. Trying to feed it into Combs. Combs trying to spin on, Vi on McNamee and rings it down. We got a jump ball and it'll be back over to Belfry. Good defense by the Pirates. Warren inbounds it to McNamee. She's guarded by Combs. Trying to get it up to somebody. Can't. And Combs reaches in. We have a jump ball back over to the Patriots. Good defense by Miss Haley Combs, senior. Had a stellar career here at Knott County Central. I think me and Jamie talked to him a couple weeks ago. And in six years. And this year's not been decided yet. So in the first five, they've hung three region titles. That's not a bad run. Gay Hart over to Bentley. Bentley to Hall, far side. She thought about it. Kicks it back down into Combs. Combs pulls up from four. No good. Viperman comes down with it. And we've got a foul on Lacey Hall of the Patriots. Her second. As Pollard comes off the bench to check in for Morgan Combs. Warren looking inbound it. She does. Knocked out of bounds by Lacey Hall. It'll stay with the Pirates. Good defense by Lacey. Warren trying to get it in. Gets it into McNamee. McNamee trying to give it up to a ball handler. Can't get free. Goes up to Warren. Stolen away by Kayla Gayhart. Good defense by Kylie. Kylie behind the back. Goes in. Oh, beautiful pass. Gayhart into Combs. Beautiful pass. She's got three, and we've got a 30-second timeout by Belfry. Just want to watch the game. Did that turn on the ceiling fan? Use the gray remote. Hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game.
Did you know that one of the top rural health clinics in the state is right in your back door? Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky has been given the title of the largest rural health system in Kentucky. In addition, Primary Care is the third largest rural health system in the nation and the fourth largest employer in Perry County. Call today to schedule an appointment at our Hazard, Heinemann, Vico, or Hyden locations. Walk-ins are always welcome. Trying to get a screen by Viper. The board with it kicks it out to Warren. Nearly stolen away by Gayhart. Warren pulls up. No good. Too hard. McNamee gets the rebound, puts up, and she walked with it. And so back over to the Lady Patriots. Gayhart with it. It's Bentley to Hall on the near side. She pulls up from about 20. Too hard. Rebounded by McNamee. Over to Warren. Coach Deskins getting his play called. Warren goes far side. It's a double screen. Guarded by Pollard. Kicks it up to DeBoard. She goes, lays it up, and good. Nice move by Kylie DeBoard of the Belfry Pirates. Gets the three-point lead, 19-16. to 16. Gay Hart with it. Over to Bentley. In the hall. Oh, nice pass from Lacey Hall into Haley Combs. Warren with it, 1.15 to go, second period, Warren trying to get it in. Belfry just got two timeouts left. Up ahead to McNamee, McNamee one on three. She pulls it back out, trying to give it to Warren. Warren goes baseline and lays it up, no good, gets her own rebound. Spins, lays it up, no good. Haley Combs comes out there with it for the Patriots. Patriots looking for the lead for the first time today. Gay Hart in the hall, behind the back pass to Bentley. Let's it fly, no good. Pollard with a rebound. She lets it go from six and no good. In and out. That couldn't have went down any farther and come out. Gayhart from 21 straight away. No good. Combs with the rebound. Patriots are controlling the board. We're going to have a foul on the Belfry Pirates. Number 10, Jalea Warren. It's going to be her first team's first. Sends Combs to the line where she is one of two from the free throw line. Haley's first free throw up and good. She's got six. Haley's second free throw on the way. No good. Rebounded by Viperman. About 29 seconds to go. DeBoer, Kylie DeBoer across the timeline. She comes near side with a double screen. Thought about pulling up with it. Good. Backside defense by Lacey Hall. DeBoer goes up against Pollard. And Pollard's. Got a height advantage on her. And ball loose. Stolen away by the Patriots. Still loose on the floor. Gayhart got it. Nine seconds. Across the timeline with seven seconds. Six. She drives down. She lays it up and no good. But Gayhart to go to the line to give the Patriots their first lead. With Fallon McNamee. Her second. And Kylie goes to the line to give the Patriots their first lead of the ball game. First trip of the line for Kylie. Free throw on its way. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Man, she's been a pleasure to watch over the years for the Patriots. She, Kylie's got eight on the day, and the Patriots for their first lead of the night. Kylie's second free throw. Let's it fly. Same result. Never touches the rim. Nine seconds. Out to Warren with two seconds. She pulls it up from 60. No good. And that's how we'll end the first half. Your Knott County Central Patriots 21, Belfry Pirates 19. We'll be back in about five minutes. Cheers to the Killer Beat on 107.1. Quality care. Hammond Funeral Services also provides a professional, respectful disinterment and reinterment service that would allow you to move your loved one to the beautiful Mount Memory Gardens in Hammond, where the grace site will never go unmowed and uncared for again. Mountain Memory Gardens provides beautiful grave plots that can be reserved for every family member. Bethel Mausoleum also offers the most state-of-the-art crypts in Kentucky, should you prefer to have a final resting place other than in-ground burial. All these decisions can be made in advance, too, so you can relieve your family of the burden of wondering what you would want. Give us a call today at 606-785-3133. I'm the Service. 
offers his complete package. Hicks Brothers Construction knows that times are tough and your money is hard to come by. That's why they pledge to always do the job right the first time. Specializing in backhoe work, septic systems, house seats, and road work. No job is too big or too small. Hicks Brothers Construction, a name you know you can count on. Call 606-785-4838. That's Hicks Brothers Construction. Just want to watch the game. That turned on the ceiling fan. Use the gray remote, hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Hey you, it's -a me, a Marcello. Are you looking for a great place to eat lunch or a dinner? Then go right now to Hot Rods. They have delicious pizza, cheese sticks, spaghetti, wings, a salad bar, and a more. You can eat in, carry out, or get a delivery from four great locations. Heinemann, Hazard, Allen, and Abetzi Lane. That's a Hot Rods. It's the best place this side of Italy. Mwah! What keeps you going? Your love for the game? Your teammates? A victory? At ARH Orthopedics, our goal is to keep you pain-free so your body can keep going. There's no time for discomfort in your joints or ligaments caused by an injury. ARH Orthopedic providers specialize in treatment plans from non-surgical and surgical options so your care is entirely centered around you. Visit ARH.org slash ortho to find an orthopedic provider near you. ARH. More for Appalachia. Addiction is a disorder. We treat and we manage addiction like any other disorder. The issue touched me when I start seeing more and more young families fighting addiction, start having babies born with an addiction issue. When we have a great outcome, when we see that person coming back on their feet, working and producing and providing for their families. That's the best outcome. It makes you feel that you're doing something right. If your car's in a mess, take it to the best. That's Hometown Garage, located in Pine Top, Kentucky. Buster Sloan and Donnie Combs have been in the business for years, and we promise you that if the job satisfies them, it will you. For free estimates, pickups, and deliveries locally, you can call them at 606-276-1171. That's Hometown Garage. Take the short drive to satisfaction with the Tim Short Auto Group. Up to 5,000 vehicles to choose from. Shop online or in person. Hey, I'm Tim Short. I'd just like to invite everybody out to one of our 27 locations or check us out online at timshortautogroup.com. Take the short drive to satisfaction and bring home your new vehicle. Knott County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Knott County Fiscal Court is happy to once again be sponsoring another event. Athletic Complex Center where the Knott County Central Patriots just took a 21-19 lead the last nine seconds of the first half 
on two free throws made by Kylie Gayhart. So we'll run down the score here in the first half. First for the visiting team, the Lady Pirates from Belfry. They's led in scoring by Jalea Warren with eight points. She was two for four from the free throw line, followed by Alexi Mapes with five. She was two of two from the free throw line. Clara McNamee has four points, and Kylie DeBoard with two to round out Belfry's 19 points in the first half. And now for the Knockin' Central Lady Patriots, he's led in scoring by senior Kylie Gayhart with nine, who was two of two from the free throw line, followed up by Haley Combs with six, who was two of four from the free throw line. Um, Kaylee Gibson, Faith Pollard, and Acacia Bentley with two each to give the Patriots the 21 to 19 lead. Here at halftime of the Morton Combs Athletic Complex. Last game of the season for postseason starts here at the Morton Combs Monday night, hosted by Accordia. Um, you'll be able to catch the entire uh, 53rd District Tournament on WKCB, the Killer B 107.1, and Hometown Sports Corner on Facebook and YouTube. So we'll be carrying it all. Um, Next week should be some exciting action as the girls will tip off here Monday night from the Morton Combs at 6 o'clock. Uh, for the first game, second game will be at 7.30. And then the boys will say the same time on Tuesday. Uh, start at 6 and 7.30, followed by the championship game we play on Thursday. No game Wednesday. And so a full week of basketball. And uh, next th starting next week, it's uh, besides the championship game, it's win or go home. And so we'll start with 200 some high school teams across the Commonwealth. And in the next two weeks, we'll knock it down to 16. And in three weeks, we'll be down to one. And so the road rup starts Monday night right here on the Killer Beat for the 14th region. I'm James Sandlin. We'll be back in about two minutes. I have second half action between the Belfry Pirates and the Knock County Central Patriots. If your car's in a mess, take it to the best. That's Hometown Garage, located in Pine Top, Kentucky. Buster Sloan and Donnie Combs have been in the business for years, and we promise you that if the job satisfies them, it will you. For free estimates, pickups, and deliveries locally, you can call them at 606-276-1171. That's Hometown Garage. I just want to watch the game. That turn on the ceiling fan. Use the gray remote. Hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Back as the head official, Mr. Chris Spurlock, comes against the game ball to start the second half. 
Lady Patriots take the floor. Break a huddle with Coach Megan Huff. Lady Pirates of Belfry still in a huddle, getting their last minute prep talk from Coach Kevin Deskins. And so it'll be Belfry's ball to start the second half action. Thanks for tuning in to the Killer Bay. If you're out driving around tonight and doing a little shopping, you can download that WKCB mobile app. If I'll take us anywhere around the world, it's free. Or you can tune in to www.wkcb.com on the internet anywhere around the world as we've got a foul on Belfry's number four, uh, Alibi Viperman. That'll be her second. Team's first. Or if you're on Facebook or YouTube, you can tune in to Hometown Sports Corner. Facebook page and watch the game. And so Bentley's free throw on the way up and good. Bentley with her third point of the ball game, first free throw. Second one on the way up, no good, too hard, rebounded by DeBoard, Kylie DeBoard of Pirates. Over to Warren. Warren will bring it up. Guarded by Gibson. The Patriots open up in a man-to-man. -man. Warren floats down from six up. No good. Back to me goes up. It's knocked out of bounds by Kaylee Gibson. It'll stay with the Pirates. As back to me. Or I'm sorry, Viperman's looking inbound. It. She gets it into Warren. Warren's guarded by Kaylee Gibson. 7-25, Patriots with their biggest lead, 3-22 to 19. It should have been a double dribble as officiating says it was bobbled by Gibson. So Warren trying to get, can't shake free, kicks over to the board. The board going up against Gayhart comes near side. Goes in against Bentley. Nice defense by Casey of Bentley. Up ahead to Kaylee Gibson. She's going to be fouled by Warren, and that's going to be Warren's second foul. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in on Facebook. Hit that like and share button. Like I said earlier, is Kaylee Gibson will go to the line. Next week, the 53rd District starts Monday night and Tuesday night and Thursday night. And you can catch it all here on Killer B. Starting at 6 o'clock and 7.30 Monday night, 6 o'clock, 7.30 Tuesday night, and 6 and 7.30 Championship on Thursday. Or on Facebook at Hometown Sports Corner. Kaylee Gibson, second free throw up and good. Patriots with their biggest lead of the night, up by four. 23 19. Viperman still trying to get it in, gets it into McNamee, who's guarded by Pollard. McNamee still trying and gets it into Warren. She throws it up, Warren across the timeline. Ahead, nice, and Pirates missed the layup. Lacey Hall with the rebound. Hall kicks it over to Gayhart. Gayhart across the timeline. And she goes in, lays it up from six. Up no good. The board with a rebound for the Pirate. She kicks it over to Warren. 6.33 to go. As Warren goes far side, she pulls up from 19 and good. And she is, I think, three of five from the three-point line tonight. And she has got 11. On the night, lead all scores. Gayhart into Gibson, wide open free throw line. Spins, lays it up and good. Nice jump shot by Kaylee Gibson to give her five. 25-22 in favor of the Patriots. And we have got a foul on Lacey Hall for Holden. That's going to be her third. As Haley Combs checks in to the game, Lacey Hall check out with three fouls. Lacey, one of those, another one of those phenomenal seniors that the Patriots has had. They've hung three region titles in five years, looking for the fourth and sixth this upcoming postseason. We're about two weeks from finding out who will hang it up, who will hang the banner up. As the board goes around, she's picked up by Haley Combs. And Patriots switch defense. Kayla Gibson comes out to guard her. And the board goes in. Can't shake Gibson. Brings it back out. Looking for a screen. And the board kicks it into Warren. Warren double teamed uh, against Combs. Lays it up. No good. McNamee goes up and gets it. Lays it up and good. 
Nice move by Clara McNamee to give her six on the night. Cuts the lead to one. 25-24 as Kaylee Gibson pulls up. Kylie DeBoard with the rebound as Gibson missed the three-pointer. DeBoard brings it across the timeline near side. Guarded by Gibson. DeBoard on the far side. She breaks free, goes in, and she walked with it. Good call by Mr. John Stacy on the far side. Back over to the Patriots as Mapes checks into the ball game for Belcher. Here comes Gayart with it. Gayhart over to Bentley, back to Gayhart, over to Gibson. Gibson into Pollard. Pollard spins, kicks it out to Bentley. Wide open three on the way, and good. Nice shot by Casey of Bentley. She's got six on the night. And Viperman gets it, looking to get it in for the Pirates. Kicks it over to the board. The board guarded by Bentley. As the Pirates clear out, so the board goes one on one against Bentley to bring it across the timeline. Looks for a double screen. The board does. Can't shake Bentley. Kicks it out to Viperman all the way to the far side to Warren. Warren pulls up from 22 and good. Man, Warren has been red hot tonight. She is four of six from the three point line with 14. Cuts the lead to one. Patriots up by one, 27-28. The board tried to steal it, couldn't handle it. And it goes out of bounds back over to the Patriots. As Bentley inbounds it to Gayhart. Gayhart across the timeline. Thanks for tuning in with us all season long with WKCB, the Killer Bee. For Hometown Sports Corner, we surely appreciate you, Gayhart. Banks open all night long as she pulls up from 15, knocks in. She's got 11 and... Coach Huff takes a 30-second timeout. She takes a timeout. We'll take it with her. Patriots lead 30-27. to 27. Not County ever... Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Not County Fiscal Court is happy to once again be sponsoring another event featuring our Not County youth. Judge Executive Dobson and the members of the Not Fiscal Court encourage you to support all our Not County youth in all of their academic and athletic endeavors. That positive reinforcement means the world to these student athletes. This reminder from Not County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Not County Fiscal Court. Found it. The Patriots have trapped Warren and nearly threw it away into Viperman. Viperman and McNey all the way ahead of the board. Wide open. Lays it up and good. And because the lead back to Warren for the Patriots. 30 to 29. Gayhar with it across the timeline. As the Pirates are in a man to man. Gayhart goes far side. Oh, nice look from Gayhart into Gibson. Beautiful pass. Warren with it. She's double teamed in the corner. Kicks it out to McNamee. McNamee up ahead to the board. Kylie pulls up from 18. Up no good. Air ball too hard. Rebounded Kylie or Kaylee Gibson. Gibson ahead to Combs. Combs over to Bentley. Bentley kicks it back into Combs underneath. Guarded by McNamee. And Combs probably lucky. She didn't pull the pivot foot. And Bentley throws it out of bounds. But last touch by the Pirates. It'll stay with. The Patriots who lead 32 29, three or two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Been a good ball game. Bentley inbounds it to Gayhart all the way in the backcourt. Gayhart walks it across the timeline. Into Gibson who got free. She missed the give me. McNamee comes down with a rebound, kicks it out to Warren. Gibson wishes she had that one back. She got to give me and left it short. Warren comes up near side, guarded by Gibson. Warren looking for the clear out. Tries to get a screen. Goes far side, picked up by Bentley. Two minutes to go. Patriots street by, or lead by three. 32-29. Pirates taking a little bit of air out of the ball as Warren backs all the way out to the timeline. Kicks it over to the board all the way across the court. The board guarded by Gibson. To Pollard. 
And nearly threw away and is thrown away. Ball back over to the Patriots. Gibson inbounds it to Gayhart. Right to left on the radio dial. Gayhart thought about it. Kicks over to Bentley. Wide open three. Near side. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Casey Bentley. She's got nine on the night. And good defense by Faith Pollard to the Patriots. And she knocks it out of bounds. It's stolen away by Gayhart. Gayhart kicks it out to Bentley. Bentley's three on the way. Too short. Rebounded by Kaylee Gibson. Gibson out to Gayhart. Gayhart spins. Oh, nice ball fake Gayhart. And up and good. As Kylie has got 13 on the night. The Patriots biggest lead of the night up by eight. And Warren. Across the timeline, guarded by Pollard. Warren in the far corner. Double team spins, throws it up, and good. What a shot by Warren. Oh, my goodness. She just got threw it up, and it went in. What a shot. 16. Gibson with it. Cuts lead 37-31. 35 seconds ago. Wow. Warren is an athlete from Belfry. Kylie with it, goes far side. 23 seconds to go. She's guarded by Mapes. The timeline, Kylie does. So Patriots going to take the last shot of the third period, leading 37-31. What was an early start period? Nine seconds. Gayhart goes far side, gets the screen by Pollard, kicks it to Pollard. Nice pick and roll. And Pollard lays it up and good. And nearly stolen away. And that's how we'll end the third period. Not County Central, 39. Belfry, 31. We'll be back in one minute. Here's to the Killer Bee on 7.1. For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. Addiction is a disorder. We treat and we manage addiction like any other disorder. The issue touched me when I start seeing more and more young families fighting addiction, start having babies born with an addiction issue. When we have a great outcome, when we see that person coming back on their feet, working and producing and providing for their families. That's the best outcome. It makes you feel that you're doing something right. Start the fourth quarter. Kaylee Gibson over to Gayhart. Coach Megan Huff tells Gayhart to run a play. Gayhart kicks it over to Gibson. Gibson out to Pollard. Pollard over to Gayhart near side just in front of Coach Huff. Huff into Gibson near corner hall. Back out to Gayhart. Gayhart looking to drive and she jumps up and we've got a whistle underneath. And we're going to have a foul on number 21. Uh, Belfry Kylie awarded her first. Kylie's two for two from the free throw line tonight. Free throw up and good. She's got 14. Second one up and good. Patriots lead by 10, 41-31. Biggest lead of the night for the Patriots. Pirates inbound it to Warren. Back over to Mapes. Mapes back over to Warren. Warren to Mapes. Cross the timeline. Guarded by Gayhart. Mapes pulls it back out. 
Looking to drive. Gayart cuts her off. She pulls up from six. Something no good. Rebound to Haley Combs. Combs with it over to Gayhart. Gayhart walks it across the timeline. No hurry whatsoever for the Patriots with a 10 point lead. Gayhart goes far side. Free throw line up. And no good. Too hard. Rebounded by rebounded by the Pirates. Kylie the board out with it. Across the timeline. 6.55 to go. Fourth quarter. Patriots lead 41-31 to board over to Mapes. Mapes against Haley Combs. Behind the back. Steps back. Three. Lets it fly. And good. What a nice shot by Alexi Mapes. He's got eight on the night. Cuts it to seven. 41-34. Gayhart walks it across the timeline to Hall. Senior to senior to senior. Nice pass, Lacey to Kylie. She steps back from six up. No good. Nice look from Lacey into Kylie. Here comes Warren with it across the timeline. Warren to Mapes. Mapes looking to drive, and she lays it up from the free throw up. No good. And still loose, and the board comes away with it. Out to Warren. Warren guarded by Gibson out near the K. Looking to drive. And she lays it up. No good. McNamee gets the rebound. Puts it back up and good. And McNamee's got eight. Pirates coming back. Well, they got it with them five. 41-36 is the Belfry Pirates fans behind us. Coming to their feet. And the Pirates come away with it. Mapes steals it from Gibson. Gives it back to the board. The board guarded by Pollard. As Casey Bentley looks to check in to the next dead ball for the Patriots. The board with it. Looking to get a screen by McNamee. She goes down. She goes by him. Lays it up and good. And all of a sudden, what was the 10-point lead is back to three. And Coach Megan Huff has seen enough, and she takes a timeout. And she takes a full timeout. So will we be back in 60 seconds. You listen to the Killer B on 107.1. What an exciting shot. I just want to watch the game. That turned on the ceiling fan. Use the gray remote. Hit power, then input. It's not working. That's the silver one. <laughs> it might be difficult to understand what all the remotes on your coffee table do. But with a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent in every county, at least it's easy to get great insurance. Kentucky Farm Bureau. Big on commitment. Next time, I'll just go to the game. Hyman Kennel Services also provides a professional, respectful disinterment and reinterment service that would allow you to move your loved one to the beautiful mountain near the gardens of Hyman, where the grace site will never go unmowed and uncared for again. Mountain Memory Gardens provides beautiful grave plots that can be reserved for every family member. Bethel Mausoleum also offers the most state-of-the-art crypts in Kentucky, should you prefer to have a final resting place other than in-ground burial. All these decisions can be made in advance, too, so you can relieve your family of the burden of wondering what you would want. Give us a call today at 606-785. Bentley Hall wide open three far side left it short here comes Belfry well, it was trailing by ten they've cut it to three and they throw it out of bounds and that's not what coach Kevin Deskins was wanting and throw it out of bounds back over to the Patriots Kylie Gayhart with it across the timeline as Bentley goes across the court Gayhart pulls up straight away and no good. Haley Combs with it and she's going to be fouled by Clara McNamee. That's her third. Going to send Haley Combs to the line where she is two of four tonight from the free throw line. Coach Diskins didn't like it. We were too close to postseason to say too much as Combs is free throw up in good. 42-38. Second free throw for Haley is up and good. Mapes trying to get it in, gets it into the board. The board races across the timeline where she's double teamed in the corner. She kicks it out to Mapes. Mapes back out to the board. The board backs all the way out to the cave. 
Trailing by five, 4.33 to go, 43-38. The board gets cut off by Pollard. As Pollard's got a mismatch on the board. Into Warren. Warren guarded by Bentley. Warren backs it back out, lets a three fly, and good. And Warren has been on fire tonight. She's got 19. Cuts the lead to two, 43-41. Gayhart with it. Goes far side. Nobody cut her off. Kylie lays it up and good. Patriots back up by four. Warren looking inbound. It kicks it all the way out to McNamee. She brings it across the timeline, guarded by Haley Combs. Out to the board, across the court, back to Warren. Warren guarded by Bentley. 3.45 to go. Patriots 45, Belfry 41. Warren guarded by Gayhart now on the switch, trying to get a switch. Gets a double screen, Gayhart. Warren can't shake her, kicks it over to the board. Good defense by the Lady Patriots. The board backs it out, trying to get a screen from Mapes. Guarded by Bentley. She gets a screen this time, goes in on Combs. Can't shake her on the timeline. She stepped out of bounds, ball back over to the Patriots. Good defense by Knott Central. As the Pirates have gone to a man-to-man -man full court press. Belcher against Gayhart. Brings across the timeline. She's going to pick up a foul. Going to be a foul on Adeline Belcher. Her first, team second. Her team's third. Bentley to Gayhart. Gayhart, Coach Huff says, slow it down a little bit. Three minutes to go. Fourth quarter. Patriots lead 45 to 41. Thanks for tuning into the Killer Bee tonight. I'm James Sandler, Cody Spartman, back at the station. Good defense by the Pirates. Knocks it out of bounds. Stays with the Patriots underneath their own goal. Pollard with it, pulls up from six, too hard. Bentley with a rebound, and it's loose. Kylie DeBoard steals it from Bentley. Here comes Warren with it across the timeline. 2.42 to go. She's picked up by Gayhart as Warren backs up just in front of Coach Deskins. And she pulls up from 22, lets it fly, and nothing but money. Wow. She's got 22. I'd say out of 22 of them, six. She's got 18 of them from threes. Cuts the lead to one, 45-44 over to Gayhart. Gayhart looking to drive. And we've got a foul on the floor, and it'll be on the Pirates number 11. Lexi Mapes, her first. As Bentley will inbound underneath her own basket. Looking to get it in. I'm sure they're looking to get it in to Gayhart. Kicks it in to Pollard. Pollard out to Gayhart. Gayhart wide open. Steps back. She lets it fly for three. Nothing but... Okay. Kylie says, I can make them as well. Gets the lead back to four. McNamee with the ball over to the board. The board out to Warren. Warren back to the board. As the board comes near side, kicks it out to Mapes. Mapes guarded by Pollard. Can't shake her. Looks to go baseline. Still can't get away from her. Mapes. Out to Warren and Coach Deskins takes a timeout. And he'll take a full timeout. And so as we'll take it with him as the Patriots lead 48-44, 140 to go. You listen to the Killer Bee on 107.1. If your car is in a mess, take it to the best. That's Hometown Garage, located in Pine Top, Kentucky. Buster Sloan and Donnie Combs have been in the business for years, and we promise you that if the job satisfies them, it will you. For free estimates, pickups, and deliveries locally, you can call them at 606-276-1171. That's Hometown Garage. Nelson Frazier Funeral Home is proud to sponsor tonight's sporting event. 
Nelson Frazier has the highest quality American-made funeral products, cremation services, mausoleum, and memorial markers, all with a family budget in mind. With three chapels located in Hyman, Martin, and now in Prestonsburg, Nelson Frazier Funeral Home is local people serving local families. Home streets of glory. With 25, cuts the lead to one. 48 to 47. Young lady's been on fire tonight. Here comes Gayhart with it. She's guarded by Adeline Belcher. 112 to go. Gayhart blows by her, backs it back out. Over to Bentley. Bentley, far side to Hall, back out to Bentley. Bentley to Gayhart, right at one minute to go. Patriots with a one point lead. And. The Pirates are going to have to probably foul into Pollard as the Patriots are going to play keep away into Bentley. Bentley in the hall. Hall looking to drive. She ball fakes, lays it up. No good. And last touched by, they say, the Pirates of Belfry. And it'll stay with the Patriots. Bentley looking inbound. It throws it out, and Kylie has to go get it with 42 seconds to go. Kylie's going to be double team looking to drive, and we've got a foul out near the timeline on Adeline Belcher. It's her second. And sends Gayhart to the line. Kylie is four of four tonight. The Patriots with a one point lead. None bigger than what the free throws that Kylie Gayhart's getting ready to take. Free throw up, nothing but the bottom of the net. Patriots up by two. Kaylee Gibson checks into the ball game for Casey Bentley, who's had a superb night for the Patriots. Gayhart, second free throw. She spins, lets it fly, and good. Gayhart, 6-6 six six tonight, 22 points. Warren with it. It's knocked out of bounds, and Gibson... And we got a foul on Warren. And Warren picks up her third foul. It's going to send Gibson to the line. Gibson's free throw up and good. She's got eight, two of two from the line tonight. Second free throw for Gibson is good. And the Patriots take a... Full time out, and so will we. You're listening to Killer B on 107.1. I remember as a young girl going to Community Trust Bank with my mom. Did you know that one of the top rural health clinics in the state is right in your back door? Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky has been given the title of the largest rural health system in Kentucky. In addition, Primary Care is the third largest rural health system in the nation and the fourth largest employer in Perry County. Call today to schedule an appointment at our Hazard, Heinemann, Vico, or Hyden locations. Walk-ins are always welcome. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. Play the Patriots with a five point lead, 52 47. As the board will inbound it to Warren. Warren guarded by Gayhart across the timeline. Goes down, trying to get a screen. She pulls up from 19, and this one is way short. Rebounded by the board. She lets it fly straight away. No good. Rebounded by the Pirates, and stolen away by Gibson. Gibson up the hall. Hall to Gayhart, all the way ahead to Pollard. Pollard spin, lays it up, and good. And Pollard pace got six, seven seconds to go. And stolen away by Hall, and that's how this one will end. Knott County Central, 54. And the Lady Pirates, 47. We'll be back in 60 seconds to wrap this one up from the Morton Cones. 
Sometimes, when you're thinking about trading cars, you start wondering, is this the right time? Well, just listen to that little voice inside your head. You wonder... Hey, James. Addiction is a disorder. We treat and we manage addiction like any other disorder. The issue touched me when I start seeing more and more young families fighting addiction, start having babies born with an addiction issue. When we have a great outcome, when we see that person coming back on their feet, working and producing and providing for their families. That's the best outcome. It makes you feel that you're doing something right. Knott County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Knott County Fiscal Court is happy to once again be sponsoring another event featuring our Knott County youth. Judge Executive Dobson and the members of the Knott Fiscal Court encourage you to support all our Knott County youth in all of their academic and athletic endeavors. That positive reinforcement means the world to these student athletes. This reminder from Knott County. And so the Lady Patriots just defeated the not or the Belfry Pirates by a score fifty four to forty seven. And what's the final season game here to Morton Combs? Of course, postseason will start Monday. But we're joined with our WKCB player of the game, Miss Kylie Gayhart. Kylie, that was a rough one for about three quarters and six minutes. Yeah, we struggled hitting a night, but, I mean, we pulled out the win. Well, the good thing is we shot really good free throws tonight. Yeah. I think our, our, our free throws, we was... I think of uh, my count about 15 out of 17 from free throw line. So, you know, if you're going into postseason where some games will be decided by free throws, that's what that's what you want. Yeah, we work on free throws about every practice. So, you know, we kind of got them down. The regular season now comes to an end. Now we look forward to postseason. From now on out, it's 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 win or go home besides the championship of the district. What's got to be the mentality between – Today, Wednesday, and 6 o'clock on Monday when we come in here and start the 53rd District Tournament. You know, just work really hard in practice, you know, prepare for Jenkins and then later if we win that game against Jenkins. But, you know, we got to come ready to play. Every game, you gotta, you got to be ready to play at this point. There, there is no off day. Um, you know, we talked about it, me, you, and Jamie talked about it last week. Um, we've hung three banners in five years. Your number six is yet to be determined. We're going to know in about two and a half, three weeks. As you look back now, going into postseason, what's some of the memories that you can take away from the Morton Combs? You know, just playing with all these girls, honestly. I mean, they've been my best friends for since grade school. So, you know, it's it's really fun playing with all them. Well, good. What, coming in tonight, what was if you, if you had to check a box with three boxes in it, what was the three boxes that Coach Huff said we've got to do tonight to, to get a victory against the Pirates? Oh, uh, well, we were expecting Jenna Sparks to play, you know. Yep. So we uh, practiced for her. You know, she's a really good player. And then number 10, she shot the lights up tonight. She sure did, didn't she? I don't know she? how many she made, but <laughs> I was guarding her, and she shot it from the P, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Lord have mercy. But, you know, I mean, they're a really good team, you know. We just had to come out ready to play, and then – like I said, really guard number 10 and Jenna Sparks. Well, going into postseason, you want games like this. You know, we're – and we struggle from the field. I mean, it's no secret we struggle from the field. But, you know, but it's those games that, with the postseason that you've got to struggle – you know, you've got to battle through to do what it wins. So, taking away from tonight with a 54-47 victory, what do you take away from tonight's victory to, for Monday? Uh, well, we got to work on our shots at practice. You know, we got to get up a lot more shots. So hopefully we can make them Monday and then just play really good defense, and that's what brings offense. Well, I won't keep you. I know you want to get back in the locker room with, with Coach Huff and, and the Lady Pagers. Anybody you want to give a shout-out to? Uh, last home game, you know, thanks to all the fans, my family, teammates. You know, I'm going to miss it. 
Well, I, I mean, you know, I've talked about it throughout that whole game. You know, I've watched uh, several of you all grow up over over the years, and it's and it's been fun to watch you play. And hopefully, here in about three weeks, we're sitting here in the same place with with about three, four of the seniors talking about the trip to Rough Arena that's coming up. So I look forward to that. But I'll let you go. And congratulations and uh, good luck starting next week. Thank you. I appreciate it. And once again, joined by our player of the game, Miss Kylie Gayhart Sr. Had a chance to watch that young lady grow up. Uh, none better than, than Miss Gayhart. Been fun to watch her grow up and fun to play. And so we'll run down the score real quick as the Knock Kane Central Patriots defeated the Belfry Pirates. And we'll start with the visiting team on the scoreboard. They was led in scoring by Jalea Warren, who had 25 and was 7 out of 10 from three-point land, followed up by Clara McNamee with 8, Lexi Mapes with 8, with 2 for 2 for free throw line, and Kylie DeBoard finished with 6 to give the Pirates their 47 to 50, or I'm sorry, to give them their 47. Now for the Knott County Central Patriots, he's led in scoring by our WKCB hometown sports corner player of the game, Kylie Gayhart, who finished with 22. Kaylee Gibson finished with 9. Haley Combs with 8. Faith Pollard with 6. And Acacia Bentley with 9. The Patriots finished at 15 of 17 from the free throw line tonight, so... Excellent free throw shooting by the Lady Patriots. What you want going into postseason. And once again, I'll wrap it up. It's been a wonderful regular season. We started this ride all the way back in August, football season, on the Killer Bee bringing sports from Knott County. And so I appreciate you tuning in to us all week or all year long and um, staying tuned to Hometown Sports Corner and the Killer Bee with, with me and Jamie or Tyler Wolf and Cody Sparkman and Hunter Combs and Randy Thompson and Vance Hurley and Randall Riley. It took, it took several of us to get through this year's sports, and I appreciate it. Appreciate you more than you'll ever know for tuning in and your kind words to me and Jamie and the Killer Bee Sports crew all year long. I, I appreciate it, and I'll end it one more time. Jamie Hughes is at church at Lighthouse Baptist. Uh, we'll not be back on the radio till Monday, probably about 545, start the 53rd District Tournament. This upcoming Sunday at 11 o'clock. If you ain't got nowhere to go, we'd love to have you at Montgomery Baptist Church. Services last from about 11 to 12.30. Or my buddy Jamie Hughes is a pastor at Lighthouse Baptist. They have services every Sunday at 2 o'clock. And he'd love to have you. Montgomery's on West 550. Lighthouse on East 550 here in Knott County. We'd love to have you. Doors are always open. I'm James Sandler for Cody Spartman. Hunter Cone was back to stir here. Jim with me. Cody Spartman back to 